Hey, this is Bill at Awesome Music in Lynn Haven, Florida. Our phone number is 769-0900. We are on Highway 77, and I am here today to tell you about tuning. Now, um, the guitar strings are numbered. There are six strings starting at the bottom here. This is actually called the top string because it's, it's the highest in pitch, and, they, and, you, and they're numbered from the bottom up, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I always tell everyone, small string, small number, big string, big number. And they are tuned, now this is from the bottom down, to E, A, D, G, B, E. And there's a little saying that we have for that. It is Elvis ate dynamite, goodbye Elvis. So that's a good way to remember what your strings are tuned to. The little kids like uh, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. And I like that one too. So. And uh, so here is an E. This is the sixth string. And this is a snark tuner. It's one of the newest tuners that they have out. It has a real pretty display. And what you do is you set it so that when it's in tune, it's right in the center there like that. I'm going to purposely, I'm going to detune it. I'm going to take it down and make it flat and see how the display goes down. I'm going to show you if it's too high, and I take it up, see, now that's too high, so you want to get it right in the center. Okay, the next string is your A string, I already tuned these, they should still be in tune, and I always start at the top and work my way down, because they put them, the top strings are the thickest and they put the most tension on the neck, and actually when you're tuning, it, it draws the neck up a little bit. And as you work your way down, if you're putting more tension on the neck, that's a, let's see, we had the D and that was the G. The next is the B. It actually draws the, the neck up and makes the others go a little bit flat sometimes when you tune. So if your guitar is way out of tune, you may have to do it a couple times. Now there's a way you can tune your strings to one another as well. And sometimes you'll be trying to play along with a recording. Let me get my guitar back in tune. Okay. Sometimes if you're playing along with the recording, they may have sped the recording up a little bit, or um, they may be tuned a little bit differently than standard tuning. And so you have to know what key the song is in and then if, if they're starting off with an A chord, then I would grab my A string and, and keep hitting that until it sounded just like the A that they're playing on the recording. And if they get into it and you miss it, just got to rewind the recording and start over until you can get that A tuned up. And then you can tune your strings to one another. Here's how you tune your strings to one another. On your fifth fret of your E string is an A note. So when you hold down the fifth fret and you hit that, that E string, should be an A and then that should sound the same as the open string below it okay and then if you drop down a string on the A string fifth fret that's a D note and that should sound just like the open string below it the D string now I'm going to take it out of tune on purpose the D string so what I do is see watch how I do my hands I hit the hit the A string this is my point of reference so I know this one's in tune and then I hit the other one, and I can tell it's out. So I reach over with this hand while, while they're both still tuning, and I draw it in. I'm gonna do that again and take it way down low. Ooh, that sounds awful, don't it? And I just draw it up until they both sound the same. And then if we continue down on the fifth fret on the D string, that's a G note. It should sound like the G below it that drop down to the third string we have to move back to the fourth fret and that's a B so you can tune your second string the B string open it should sound like the fourth fret on the G string and then when we drop down here to the B string on the fifth fret we come back to the fifth fret to tune the first string and those are both E's and that's how you tune 
your guitar to itself. If you don't have a tuner, you can always do something like that. So at least when you play the chords, they sound in tune with one another. This is another tuner that's very popular. This is the Korg tuner. They say they've sold over 20 million of them. And I believe it because I know we've sold a bunch. And they're nice tuners. And you have to watch up here in the corner. It will tell you what number string and what, what note it is. Okay, you see that on there? And what happens is, you, uh, with some people, if this string was tuned way too high or something, it was closer to a G or something, then it's going to show G. And if you all you try to do is get that needle in the middle, then you're going to tune this string to a G instead of an E like it needs to be. So you have to pay attention to this corner here and, and make sure it's showing you the right note. There's only 12 different notes in the chromatic scale. That's all the notes that there is. And they're in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then they start over again at, at A. So if it's, if it's supposed to be an E string and it's showing you a D, then you need to go up. So you take this needle off the side where it makes it sharp and it goes up and it will come back around to this side here up to an E. That's why I like the snark because it's round to begin with. I mean, this, the, this display more or less is round too. So you just have to remember it's a circle and you just bring, you can go up or down the alphabet like that. And that's it. Remember, this is Bill at Awesome Music, and we hope to see you around. Bye-bye.